was the girl's 1695 days in captivity. She is bleeding for the first time in her life. At this point she doesn't realize she's grown up. She asks the man for help, but the man feels disgusted. With a disgusted look on his face, he tells her to clean the bench. The girl humbly begs the man to let her take a bath, in order not to dirty the basement. The man takes her there with a disgusted look on his face. After the bath, the mother suddenly notices that there is long hair on the man's clothes. She thought her son was in love. The man was worried that he would be found out. He cut off all the girl's hair, gives her a bald haircut, looking at the girl's hair. But the man felt a little guilty. To please her, on Christmas Day, he gave the girl a video camera, so that she could record the beauty of her life. After that, the girl started to smile at the man, and he kept on brainwashing her. As time went on, the girl gradually got used to the man. She wanted him to take her out, to see the outside world. He agreed. It was the first time in five years that the girl had been out of the basement. She wanted to stay longer but was pulled back by the man, to prevent the girl from escaping. The man deliberately made her eat only one meal a day, because that was the only way. She could stay weak, not strong enough to escape. The 2029 days of captivity, the girl gradually became more and more obedient. She obeyed him without any boundaries. This day the man took her to the supermarket, fearing that she might escape. The man put on a pair of high heels that did not fit her feet, and as she exerted all her strength to carry the paint to the car, the man was nowhere to be seen. If she had escaped 